Hey, welcome in everybody. In this video, I'm going to go over the Gmetrix Revit Architectural Imperial test number two. We're going to go over this um, questions one through 10 of this group here. And we'll see what we can do. I'm going to open this. I don't need this here. I have Revit 21. All right, so I'm going to kind of move this over to the side here and lock it in the right side. I'm also going to go back to, I'm on question 18. I'm going to go back to question number one. Let's go way back. All right, so let me get rid of the answer here. So then I'm going to open up my Revit. Just trying to show you a way to get set up. If you have a big monitor, this is probably the best way to do it. Split the screen where you got them both on the screen at the same time. That way you don't got to flip back and forth. So let me move this over here on this side. Then it says I want to open up cabin one. So I'm going to open. I'm going to go to Geometrics Templates cabin. I'm going to open this. All right, now, now we're going to get started here. All right, so it says, in the 2-level 1 floor plan view, so I'm going to go to the 2-level 1 floor plan view. I'm going to double click it. And then it says, use the reveal hidden elements tool to reveal the porch as pictured. So I'm going to go down to the bottom where you see the little light bulb it says reveal hidden elements reveal hidden elements i'm going to click on it and then let me zoom out a little bit and kind of pan this over so i want to it says i want to i'm like what i want to do is I click on the the porch here i don't know why they have this highlighted that kind of threw me off at first like why is that highlighted but i'm going to click on the porch and then it says, what is the area of the highlighted porch in square feet? So I'm gonna go up to my properties up here and look for area. So the area is 533.24 square feet. So I'm gonna type in 533.24. I don't need to put the square feet, just the, the digits here. Click next. And we got that correct because we're awesome. All right, so I'm gonna go to continue. And this is open title block dot RFA. So I'm gonna just close out of this. I don't need it, don't wanna save it, no. I'm gonna go to open. I'm gonna go to title block, open that. And then it says insert the SLT consulting PNG into the title block. So to insert, I'm going to go to insert and I want to insert a, an image because a PNG is an image file. And then you can see it's here. So just make sure you go to your geometric templates folder. If for some reason that one doesn't pop up. So go to your, your folder that the, uh, the practice exam downloaded for you and look in there, you'll see it's the only image file there. So I'm going to go click on open. It's going to come in super big. I'm just going to left click anywhere. And then over in the options here are the, the properties. It says, um, with lock proper lock proportions selected. So we got lock proportions selected. We're going to set the width of the image to nine inches. So right now we're in 11 feet. So we're going to set the width to nine. Make sure you type in the inch, inch symbol and then press enter. And then I don't know if I'm going to get rid of that answer because we're going to find the answer right now. It says set the, yeah, set the, well, we did that to nine. So it says now what is the new height of the image? So the new height is right here. So I'm going to control copy, control C. I'm going to control V. Now this is where it's going to get tricky. If I just if I just copy and paste what that answer is, notice there is there's some um, 
spaces in here. I'm going to click out one, two. I want one space in between here. There, right after the four, there is a dash. I'm going to take that space out. If you don't type it in exactly right, it's going to count it wrong, even though the numbers may be correct. So make sure we remove any excess spaces. We had a dash where there's a dash. There's two numbers, backslash two numbers, the, the inch symbol. So that should be good. I'm going to click on next. And we got that. So yeah, just make sure you double check that you got the right um, configuration for your answer. Let me get rid of this one. This one says we're going to open detail and drafting views. So I'm going to close out of this. Don't want to save it. No. I'm going to open detail and drafting views, which is here. All right. So this one's an open. We're going to open the typical wall section view. So open the typical wall section view. So we're going to look in our section views over here. So you see typical wall section. I'm going to double click it. And then it says place a, rep a repeating brick detail over the existing brick wall, starting at level one and going up to three feet, six inches. What is the number of bricks displayed in the repeating detail? So to do that, I'm going to go up to, if I can remember how to do this, I'm going to go to annotates. I'm going to go to components. I'm going to go to repeating detail component. And I got repeating detail brick. So that's what it asks you to do. Then we're going to do it. We're going to start at level one. And we're just going to go up. We're going to go up um, three feet, six inches. So three feet, six inches right here. And that says, what is the number of bricks displayed in the repeating detail? So the number of bricks is, let's see if I can hit the escape key if I Hit the escape key a couple of times. I'm going to click on this brick that I have. And over here, you can see the number. The, the number of bricks is 16. I guess you could count those individually one at a time, but ain't nobody got time for that. So 16. Just make sure you've gone up three feet six like they've asked you to. And then we're going to type in 16 and cross our fingers. Yeah, okay, we got that one. All right, so then let me get rid of this answer. We're going to go to number four, open annotation.rvt. Close out of this. Open annotation. All right, so then it says we are going to, and we're going to open level one view. So level one view right here. It says add a tag to the door along the back wall between grid lines B and C. So between B and C, the door along the back wall here, if I click that, I wanna go to, um, let's see, is it gonna be annotate? Yeah, I'm gonna click on annotate. I wanna click on tag by category. Now I'm gonna click on this door. And so the number inside the tag is five. And then I'm going to click on next. We got that one. Ooh, all right. We're going good so far. Let me get rid of this. Now we're going to open up the annotation, which we already, we're already in. And we're going to activate the level two view. So I'm going to double click on level two, which is down here. It says, what is the distance between grid line E, which is over here, grid line E and the center of the double door is between E and F. So between grid line E and the center of this. So I'm going to go to annotate, aligned. I'm going to click on this grid line, click on the center of this door, drag it up. So that's 11 foot 6. 11 feet space 6 inches. Yeah, make sure you don't put a dash in there like an AutoCAD or you want to make sure you put the space in between just like they have it here. And then uh, I hope we did this. Yeah, that's my main worry is just getting the, the right nomenclature like they have it. 
without adding any extraneous spacing and all that good stuff. So click continue. All right, so this one is gonna say, we got, we're in the same drawing. Now we're gonna activate level one. Double click level one. It says, what is, the, oh, let me get rid of this. Pretend we didn't see that. It says, what is the length of the highlighted portion of the wall? So we're talking about the wall with the break room in the office, which is not this one. It's going to be uh, over in the far end, judging from the picture. So we want to know what is the length of this wall. So I would go to annotate aligned. I would click the end of this wall, click the end of this wall, drag it out a little bit. So that's 10 feet, 10 feet, space, six inches. Next, all right. All right, so number seven, we're in the, still in the same drawing. Um, we're gonna go to level one, which we're, st we're still in level one. Let me get this command here. It says we're gonna add a tag to the highlighted double door and we're between E and F. So between E and F, which is right here where we're at. So we're gonna add a tag to this door, which we kind of already did before. I'm gonna go to annotate. Tag by category. I'm gonna click this door. So that's gonna be 25, which it already is, but just showing you how we got that. So 25, hit next, continue. Let me get rid of this dimension. All right, so number eight, we're gonna open annotation RVT, which we're already in. We're gonna activate level one, which we already have activated. It says, what is the distance between grid lines B and C? I like these questions. Give me these questions all day. So the, the, now watch me get this wrong. The distance between grid lines B and C. I'm going to go to align, annotate aligned. I'm going to click this grid, click this grid. That's going to be 20 feet, six, 26, 26 feet, 10 inches. 26 feet space, 10 inches yeah hit next all right we got that one so number nine this one here is one i hadn't done very much so also if you're struggling you need help click on the little help down here and you'll get some you'll get some pointers but for me it's easier to see somebody do it than it is to just read how to do it because sometimes you and that's kind of confusing but um so number number nine we're going to open color schemes RVT, so let me close out of this. Let's see if I still remember how to do this. I'm gonna to go to open the color schemes. All right, so I have uh, I have activated level one, and then we're gonna add a color scheme that colors the room, colors the rooms by name to the view. So open the properties area here and look for color scheme, system color scheme right here. I know it's, you don't always see it, but it says system color schemes. I'm gonna click on edits. Or do I wanna do that? No, I wanna go to where it says color scheme. I'm sorry, and it says none. We're gonna click that. All right, then we're gonna go, instead of category spaces, we're gonna go categories, we're gonna go rooms here. And we're gonna go rooms by name. So I'm gonna click on name, and then click the color that represents the color displayed in the offices. So the color in the offices is kind of this magenta color, but you can also click apply here, click OK, and you can see that the color in the offices is this kind of magenta purpley pinky color, which I kind of like, and I'm going to next. All right, so there's that one. Yeah, that's one I don't really haven't used a lot, just for what I do. But that's how you do that. All right, so I'm gonna go continue. And the next one, we're gonna open the curtain walls. Revit, I'm gonna go to file, close, save, no. I'm gonna go to open curtain walls here. And then we're gonna select the wall along grid line one. So this back wall here along grid line one, I'm gonna select it. And then it says duplicate the wall and name the duplicate exterior brick on metal stud double jip. Can I copy this thing? 
just going to select this. I'm going to go control C. So whenever I, uh, I'm going to edit this type, I'm going to duplicate it. I'm going to rename it. Hopefully let me control V to paste that there. I'll have to retype all that gobbledygook. All right. So there's that. Then I'm going to go to edit. I'm going to edit my structure here. And it says we're gonna re, we're gonna change the thickness of layer four to one half. So layer four is here. We're gonna change this to one half. Make sure you type in one half inches. Layer nine is gonna be five eighths. So I'm gonna type in five eighths. And it says after the last layer, insert one more layer of the same gypsum moldboard. So. If I knew how to make a copy of this layer and just copy it down, I don't know how to do that, but there's got to be a way, right? Anyway, I'm going to insert. And when I inserted it, it went above, so I'm just going to click it. I'm going to move this thing down. Can I move it down? Uh, yeah, move it down. Now I moved it down. I don't think it really matters, but I need to change this structure to the same as above because we got to the same layer. So I'm going to finish to five. This is going to be gypsum wall board. Although I don't really think it matters. We're looking for the, we're looking for the thickness of the wall. This could be like titanium. It doesn't matter as long as you give the right thickness here. But anyway, so yeah, we're our thickness. This right here is what matters. So this is going to be five eighths inches. And then, so now it says, what is the total thickness of the new wall? So with all the changes that we made, if you go up to the top kind of left area, you can see where it says total thickness is one foot, two and three eighths. So in this box, I'm gonna type in one foot, space, two, dash, three, eighth inches. We got all that nomenclature right Hit next. All right, there we go. So there's the first 10 and we'll stop there. We'll come back and we'll do the, we'll do the next 10 in the series. Let me get rid of this answer here while I'm here. All right, so yeah, make sure you come back. That's the first 10. We're gonna keep going with the next 10. All right, peace out.